What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another review. So today we're reviewing the 92 rated footies Traore. Obviously the main one or the biggest one you can get, I believe it goes to 89 foot birthday and it only takes four games and you can unlock the foot birthday and this at the same time if you buy the foot birthday on the market. Otherwise this will take I think eight games or seven games to get. So if you guys, this is you know a review, if you guys don't want to do the 95 rated one and instead maybe just want to do the 92 rated one, this video is for you. You, dude maybe it's worth stopping because this only takes around if you want to spend a 60k to buy it for birthday this will take an hour if you want to save a 60k it will take like two hours compared to the six hours for the 95 rated so you save like four hours of time if you do take this card instead so let's also as well uh, it's currently nine in the morning in new zealand meaning it's in aussie it's around six or seven a.m and oce servers are rough in division one once my skill rating is like 2.1k it's really tough to find matches so we did only end up finding one match um, but yeah, hopefully, obviously, we got enough clips with him. Literally, I cannot find a match. It's just a pain of OCE. If you guys are, you know, come to the channel, you will know. But other than that, boys, 5 foot 10. He's got the high, low work rates. He is right footed. He's got the 5 star skill moves, which is absolutely incredible. And he's got that 4 star weak foot as well, which isn't anything crazy, but it does the job perfectly fine. And this year, especially, I'd much rather prioritize the 5 star skill moves than the 5 star weak foot. Last FIFA, maybe the other way around, but this year, I really love the skill moves now his pace is rapid we all know Adama Traore he's absolutely shredded in real life 99 pace he's got the 99 strength as well but working from left to right his shooting his 88 positioning is nothing crazy we've gone ahead and gone for a finisher chemistry style now I have two worries about this card and that's his 75 reactions and his 82 composure now composure it's impossible to boost with a chemistry style so I did end up playing him striker in game I feel like he would be best suited for a right mid right wing right cam or a striker but only problem if you play him as a striker is that reactions and composure if you play him out wide he'll do the job well he obviously just won't get involved as much because i mean it's just obvious you won't you know use your wingers as much as your strikers um so if you want him want to get him involved more then I use him as a striker, but at the same time, be very careful of the 82 composure in front of net. He will be very inconsistent. For me, he was fine, um, but obviously he will, as time goes, like after 10, 20 games, you will notice his shooting will be inconsistent. And the reactions of 75 is very disappointing. The only chemistry style boost that gets the reactions up is a plus five. And I believe it's like a, it's, it's a, I think a sniper. I'm pretty, no, nah, I don't think it's a sniper, it's something else, so it's another chem style that improves his shooting and dribbling, but it's not finisher, um, I'm not sure what it is, but it gives him a reactions boost, but it doesn't give him a finishing boost, so he's still at 92 finishing, and I think it doesn't give him a positioning boost either, so I would rather have 75 reactions, 99 finishing, and 93 positioning with a finisher, than 80 reactions and 92 finishing and only 88 attacking positioning. So you, you've got to make a sacrifice, right? You've got to make a sacrifice with your reactions and composure. But other than that, lads, his passing is nothing crazy as well. So I do find if you do play him out like right cam or something, his passing will be nothing crazy. He's got good short passing, but long passing is lacking, especially for like a winger or a cam, which is very uh, underwhelming. But other than that, lads, with a finisher boost, he goes to 99 agility, 99 balance. His ball control is insane. He's got 99 dribbling. Very fun card. He's got the flair trait as well. Obviously as well, if you do want to have a quick look at the custom tactics, playing a 4-3-1-2 on balanced with a fast build-up. We have him at striker paired with Mbappe. Bruno, Cam, Hullet, who's actually coming back to the lineup because obviously with Traore in the team. We've got Acuna and obviously Vieira there. Custom tactics, stay central and lads, it's just a no-brainer. Make sure he's getting behind. False nine, I, I'd never use this. Target man, you usually use it for more clunky type of strikers. But Adama Traore, he's a fucking rat, lads. He's got 99 pace. He's got five-star skills. He is a rat. Let's just say that. He is a rat. He is the meta... He's a meta beast. Let's just say that. You've got to have Monkey in behind to really abuse that pace. Without further ado, boys, let's get in to the clip. So hopping in to the gameplay, as you can see straight away, we're literally we're one 0 down and one 0 down off of a bat. And with Traore, he's an interesting card. He's one of those cards that you have to abuse his pace. You have to abuse his dribbling. But as you can see, a double drag from foot to foot, some lovely footwork in the box, and we finish that near post. That is the areas where he thrives. And you guys already know if you use his foot birthday, or even if you used him last FIFA, he was quite meta then as well. Like, I believe he had, like, an inform quite early on in the game. You will know he is just ridiculous. Once again, sending him through behind, abusing that pace, and he literally, he, he literally defeats 
he, he defeats Varane. You know how hard that is to do? I think, I'm pretty sure it was team of the season Varane as well. And he literally put him on his ass, which is absolutely phenomenal. A lovely finesse there as well. Now, in this case as well, some nice dribbling in the box. And now, we kind of do get defeated by Varane there. But still, he is a player that if you are going to defeat a big, big defender like Varane, like uh, I say Joe Gomez, he's not, he doesn't have a crazy card at this point. Fullbacks at center backs, all of that. Dama Traore is your man. Now, I did find that obviously, as you can see, his high low work rate is phenomenal, 5 star, 4 star is class, his 99 shot power is phenomenal, pace, balance, agility, dribbling, I was really disappointed in his 75 reactions, you can see on the cons there as well, but 82 composure, uh, necessarily I didn't find it an issue, but in the long run you definitely will find it an issue, something I did forget to mention, or did forget to mention, I didn't, you know, class as a con, which I don't think is quite big enough to be a con is the 75 re sorry not the 75 reactions the 75 long passing and the 88 positioning the plus 5 88 positioning is absolutely class with that boost obviously it's a plus 5 it goes to 93 which is fine once again you'll see the replays here, here as well another look at this Varan goal as well it was a lovely ball roll and that ball control is absolutely phenomenal but anyway ladies going over to the performance rating and going back to what I was saying something I don't think was big enough for a con but it was borderline was that 7 25 long passing and I was honestly I, I thought I would genuinely expect him to have some better passing considering his natural position as a right wing. Right wingers, right mids, right cams, but no one for having good passing, and I'm a little bit confused. He's got 90 short passing, which is good. His crossing is phenomenal. He's only got 86 vision. He's only got 84 curve, and he's only got 75 long passing. So I'm a little bit, you know, confused with that. So his passing was a little bit sloppy at times. His short passing was fine. Obviously, that long passing and all of that was just a little bit inconsistent other than that over physical as well 99 strength he's just an absolute warrior so going over to the overall rating starting off with a performance rating we're going to go ahead on how he performed going to give him a 9.5 out of 10 picking up our only two goals for us he was absolutely class now value rating i mean i'm not going to lie lads value rating I gotta go ahead, I gotta give him a 10. It is a free card, and obviously I know time is money and all of that, saying and all of that, but literally, he is relatively free. If you want to buy his foot birthday for like 60, 70,000 coins, and then you can literally complete this, and it'll only take four games, or you could obviously just, you know, complete it from scratch, which is like seven or eight games. It takes an hour to two hours, two hours max if you do it from scratch, probably an hour max if you just buy the foot birthday. So genuinely, lads, an hour for this card is absolutely incredible, and enjoyment rating, I can't lie, lads, I had a lot of fun using this card. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 for enjoyment rating. It was a very enjoyable card, a very meta card yes he's meta i wouldn't say he's necessarily boring we've seen lots of cards like him he's similar to neymar obviously he's a lot i'd say he's a he, he's heavier on the ball due to his body type and all of that but still he's got a five star skills he's rapid he's got the shooting so in that sense he is similar to neymar and obviously to find the overall we added to the performance value and enjoyment rating or we add that all together, divided that by three, and then our overall rating for 90 to Adama Traore is going to go ahead and give him a 9.83 out of 10, which is not too bad at all. Lads, hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. So, your boy Davis, and until next time, peace out, boys.